Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, we're going to be removing this leftover color I have here or at least fading it significantly. I really want to do rainbow hair soon, so I need to get rid of this so that way I can go ahead and do rainbow hair. I'm really excited because we're trying two new products I have never tried before for fading or removing color. We're gonna be using Fading Wash by Color Oops and we're gonna be using Color Prep from Color Oops. You guys know I've been using Color Oops products four years since high school. I've been using Color Oops products and I am so excited to tell you guys today's video is sponsored by Color Oops. And if you've watched my channel for a while, you guys know that is huge because I have been supporting and buying these products from this brand for a very long time. So it's so full circle and cool that I now have a video that is sponsored by Color Oops. So like I said, we're gonna start with fading wash here. Let me go ahead and read to you a little bit about the product. So the front of the box says light and fresh fragile over processed hair gently one to two levels now you know my hair is over processed okay so i do need a gentle lightening it says correct overtoned hair without compromising strands and fade bold color easily and safely so i love this it sounds like something that i definitely need and it's geared toward me and my hair so i'm excited to try this on the top here it does have a swatch chart showing you guys like different before and afters of using the product this is just to lighten your hair one to two levels I've already faded this pink quite a bit, so I'm hoping this just lightens it a little bit more so that way I can put colors on top of this. Let's read the front of the box for the color prep. This says, rinse away dull hair color buildup. Advanced formula prepares your hair for truer color results. No more color over color. Switch hair color shades easily, safe and gentle to use every time you recolor your hair. This has no bleach and no ammonia in it, so I'm excited to try this. Should be gentle on my hair because you know my hair needs it. Let's go ahead and open up the fading wash and see what comes inside. The instructions are on the inside of the box, so let me cut this open so I can read what it says. So first we have the oxide and it's in the mixing bottle already for you. Then we have the charcoal shampoo and the bleach powder. It also comes with a pair of gloves. All right, let's read the directions for the fading wash because this is what we're gonna be using first. Your hair should be clean and completely dry, which mine is clean and dry. Pre-section hair into four sections to help manage bleach application. Only apply to areas of the hair you wish to fade color. Under mixing steps, it says, put on protective clothing and cover surrounding area. Open and pour entire contents of the bleach powder into the bottle labeled oxide mixing bottle. Replace cap and shake for 30 seconds. Open and pour entire contents of the charcoal shampoo into the oxide mixing bottle. Fill oxide mixing bottle with tap water up to the max fill line. Replace cap, cut tip off oxide mixing bottle while bottle is pointed away from your face. Place gloved finger over open tip. Point away from your face and shake vigorously one to two minutes or until contents are thoroughly mixed. Immediately after mixing, apply to hair, saturating fully and massaging product in. Taking small sections and continue to apply fading wash solution throughout all quadrants. Process for 10 to 20 minutes. Rinse with lukewarm water, massaging, lathering product while rinsing. Shampoo and condition after. So it seems pretty simple. Just mix everything up together. Fill it up to the max line here with tap water and then apply it on your hair. I do have two boxes of this today just to make sure I am completely covering every strand of hair and I'm not gonna have any inconsistencies. So let me go ahead and mix this up and we'll start applying. Seems pretty simple. All right, we have two bottles mixed up and ready to go. I just gotta cut the tops off. Let me section my hair and we're gonna start applying. Okay, so I'm just applying this section by section. I'm starting in the front quadrant because that's the part I see. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start in the front quadrant here and start applying this. Now, like I said, only apply this to the areas where you have color that you want removed. It's gonna make sure to like take small sections and saturate each section really, really well. I'd rather get this on my roots and it lighten my roots a little bit than miss like any pink sections, making sure not to miss any of the colored pieces of my hair. You guys can see it's not super thick. It's like a nice consistency. I'm not having to spend a lot of time working it into the hair. It just glides in there really easily. And because it's a thinner consistency, you won't need as much product. If it was thicker, you would have to use a lot more product to make sure to like saturate. But the thinner consistency makes it easier to saturate and you need a lot less product. I'm using like less than half a bottle per section. So this product is going a long, long way. And as you can see, I'm not like applying it directly on my root. I'm just like feathering it 
into my root. I'm just gonna continue applying this section by section. I'm gonna do a little voiceover for you guys so you can watch the process. So I just wanna tell you guys a little bit more about the fading wash product because I did not go over absolutely everything that this product can do. I did tell you guys it does lift the hair by one to two levels, but it is also ideal for fading bold color. It also helps fade overtoned hair and lift brassy hair color one to two levels. The product has blue colored bleach in it, so it lifts the hair while the blue color cools those undertones. Fading wash also has activated charcoal in it and it cleanses, helps rid the scalp and strands from product buildup, dirt and pollutants while conditioning the hair. Obviously, anytime you're using a color remover that's going to fade the hair or lift the hair a couple levels, you always worry about the integrity of your hair. But the ingredients that are included in this kit make sure to fade color or remove brassiness or overtoning the hair while keeping the hair in the best condition possible. My hair is severely compromised, you guys know. I have bleached my hair multiple times. I have used many color removers on my hair. So my hair is a perfect test for this product and I was amazed at how well this worked while keeping the health and condition of my hair. You guys know I've been using Color Oops for a very long time and I'm honestly surprised I have never used any of their other products. I'm so glad I'm able to try them now and I'm so impressed with every single product I have ever used from them. I feel like their quality control is top notch and they actually formulate their products to work while maintaining the integrity of your hair. It's really hard to find products and color removers that you get both. You get the end result you're looking for and you also keep the integrity of your hair. And every product I've used from Color Oops has been absolutely outstanding. And I'm just so grateful that they are working with me on this video. If you have never tried Color Oops before and you dye your hair often, I definitely recommend you guys check out their products. They have a wide selection of products varying from color removal to helping toning your hair. Like there's just so many different products. I will leave a link to like all the different color removers they offer. Any type of hair color you have in your hair, they have a solution for. If you have permanent dye, if you have demi-permanent, if you have semi-permanent, they literally have a product for you. When I was doing research on all the different products they offered, I was shocked because I had never heard of any of these other color removers before. So I will definitely leave a link to every color remover they offer and the Color Oops website in the description down below so that way you guys can go look for yourself and find products that suit your needs. Not only are these products bomb, but they're cruelty-free and vegan, which is also amazing. Everything is applied and fully saturated. I didn't even go in with the second bottle I mixed up until my very last section. I still have half of a bottle left of product. So I really did not need very much product at all. Like I said, super easy to saturate. Didn't have to use a lot of product because it is thinner. So I'm going to set a timer for 20 minutes. I'm going to wash, condition, and I will be right back so we can try the color prep. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am back. I let it process the full 20 minutes. Look how cute this is. I am shocked at how well that worked, you guys. Any blue or purple I had left in my hair went straight back to this beautiful platinum blonde. Look how gorgeous. And then the pink also lightened a lot. Like now my hair is really, really pastel pink. I wanted to include this little side by side so you guys can see what it looked like before and what it looks like after. I mean, I feel like strawberry shortcake right now. Like this color is gorgeous all on its own. I cannot believe how well that worked. It definitely lifted my hair two levels. Like, look at this. I am shocked at how well this worked. And also this was so gentle on my hair. I did not have any hair falling out. Like if your hair is compromised, my hair is very, very compromised. And this was very gentle on my hair. It was only on 20 minutes. This is definitely going in my vault of things to use when I want to remove color because it was so gentle on my hair. Super easy to use, user-friendly. It worked really well, like 20 minutes and it worked really well. Now that we've done the first step, let's move on to the second thing we're gonna do today. This is color prep. Let's read a little bit about it. I went ahead and went over the front here, but basically this will rinse away old dark color, dull buildup, off-tone dye. I have been swimming a lot, so this is gonna help remove any minerals or product buildup or anything I have on my hair, so that way it's ready for a fresh dye job and the dye will grab onto my hair whenever I decide to dye it next. So 
So let's go ahead and open up these instructions and see what it says to do. Very, very simple. It reminds me so much of the color oops I've been using for years. So basically you just mix step one into step two, shake it up and apply it on clean, dry hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump step one into step two and then we will read the directions. Okay, I have everything mixed up here in the bottle and I did get two of these. That way I have enough for my hair. When I'm applying things on dry hair, I like to make sure I get more than enough product to thoroughly saturate everything and make sure I have enough to coat every single hair strand. Let's read the instructions. So this comes with gloves and a cap. Color prep is meant for natural tones. It's not supposed to be used on vibrant color like what I have, but it's still going to remove any minerals. It might not remove the color, but at least it will remove like mineral buildup or anything I have on my hair. The pamphlet says, how does color prep work? Color prep shrinks and neutralizes the color pigment, allowing you to achieve your desired hair color and avoid off tones and color buildup. Preparing your hair before you color, which is exactly what I need. Color prep will remove color buildup. Over time, your favorite hair color can become oversaturated with dye, making it very dull and off tone. Color prep will remove the old dull color, leaving your hair ready for a color application with truer results. Switch hair color easily. In order to change your hair color to a lighter shade or to use a different shade altogether, apply color prep to remove any unwanted color up to three levels. Color prep will prime your hair for recoloring and help you to achieve the hair color of your choice. Color prep does not work on direct dyes. Color prep is formulated for use on oxidative hair color, hair color used in combination with hydrogen peroxide or oxide slash developer. Color prep will not work on direct dyes such as reds, pinks, blues, greens, and purples. Okay, for the instructions, it says, point bottle away from your face when removing caps, pour entire contents of bottle number one into bottle number two, put the regular cap on bottle number two and shake well until mixed, point bottle number two away from your face, remove cap and replace it with the applicator nozzle. Cut nozzle tip if necessary. For application, it says, apply liberally to areas of hair that needs hair color removal. Move quickly through the application process. Be certain to completely saturate the hair evenly with color prep. Processing says place cap on hair. Process 20 to 30 minutes. Check hair's progress frequently during that time. For best results, avoid low temperatures. It is recommended you process in room temperatures 70 degrees and above. Process between 20 to 30 minutes, do not exceed 30 minutes. Rinse your hair thoroughly with warm water. Shampoo and rinse thoroughly again. Additional rinsing is needed for longer, thicker hair. This step is very important. The more you rinse, the better your results. And then you are ready to recolor your hair. Again, this has no bleach, no ammonia, and it is cruelty-free and vegan. Let me put my gloves on and we will start applying this. Okay, so I'm just applying this all over this product is thinner so it is going to go a long way you won't need as much product i mixed up two bottles just to be safe and like i said it does make it a lot easier to saturate your hair i'm just going to keep applying this and do another time lapse for you guys i'm just going to tell you guys a little bit more about color prep so it has a clarifying formula that rinses away dull hair color product and mineral buildup it also has aloe vera which deep cleans while nourishing your hair it has soy protein which strengthens and Men's brittle over processed hair. I've been saying for years, every time I use Color Oops, my hair somehow feels better after I use the product than before I ever use the product, which always blew my mind because you're using a hair color remover, you think your hair is going to feel worse, but they have all these ingredients in here that make your hair feel better. And I never knew why my hair felt better. I just knew and I could tell that it did. Now I know why my hair felt better and it makes sense. Like I said, I have been swimming a lot this summer, so I do have chlorine and mineral buildup on my hair. I also dye my hair often, so I also have a lot of color buildup. So color prep is going to help strip all that off of my hair and get my hair ready for me to dye a new color. These products can be purchased at Walmart, CVS, or coloroops.com, and I will leave a link to coloroops.com in the description down below for you guys. All right, I have everything applied. It's saturated really, really well, and I only needed one bottle to do my whole head, so the product does go a very long way. I'm going to put this on top of my head, put a shower cap on, and process for up to 30 minutes. I'm probably gonna let it process the full 30 minutes just to make sure it removes as much color buildup as possible. Then I'm going to go rinse and wash and rinse and wash and make sure I get all the product out of my hair. I'm gonna deep condition, and I will be right back to show you guys the finished 
results, like the finished, finished results. Like I'm already impressed, but we're gonna see the total finale in just a second. Okay, you guys, I am back. I washed, deep conditioned, blow dried my hair, and here, are the finished results. I actually really love this color combination all on its own. Like I could totally rock this for a while. I love the like blonde pieces in here mixed with the light pink. Like I love this color so much. This did a great job at lifting out the color gently. My hair literally feels the exact same. I actually feel like it feels a tiny bit better. Maybe it's just in my mind, but it feels like thicker and a little bit stronger. And I would definitely say it lifted the color one to two levels like it was meant to do. And I got rid of any color buildup that was on my hair. Even though the color prep is not meant to remove vivid hair color, I definitely feel like it helped remove a little bit extra color. I definitely feel like right here in this bang area, it is almost back to like a blonde color. It really helped remove even more of those pink colors. Here's a side-by-side -side of before color prep and after color prep. Definitely is a lot lighter than it was when we started, so I'm very impressed. I'm definitely going to add both of these products into my vault of products I want to try again in the future. I would love trying color oops on an oxidative dye because that's what you're supposed to use it on. So I would love to try that on an oxidative dye to see just how amazing it would work. It worked well on this, and I can only imagine how well it would work on an oxidative dye. I will leave a link to both products I used in the description down below. A big thank you to Color Oops for sponsoring this video. You guys know I've been using them for years and years and years, and it's so crazy to have like a company support me and I've supported them for so long. So I'm, I'm so thankful to them for reaching out and wanting to sponsor one of my videos. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye. Hi.